How does a barcode scanner at a supermarket read product information? A barcode scanner at a supermarket reads product information through a process called optical scanning. Here's a detailed explanation of how it works. Barcode creation of product manufacturers generate barcodes for their products using a barcode software or generator. The barcode contains a unique combination of black bars and white spaces that represent different alphanumeric characters. Barcode structure The barcode is divided into three parts, the start character, the data characters, and the stop character. The start character indicates the beginning of the barcode, the data characters encode the product information, and the stop character marks the end of the barcode. Barcode types There are various barcode types such as UPC, Universal Product Code, and EAN, a European article number. These barcode types differ in terms of the number of characters they can encode and the symbology used. 4. Barcode printing The barcode is printed on the product packaging using specialized printers or labels. The printing process ensures that the barcode is clear and readable. 5. Scanning process When a product with a barcode is brought to the supermarket checkout counter, the barcode scanner is used to read the barcode and retrieve the product information. Laser technology Most barcode scanners utilize laser technology. They emit a red laser beam that moves across the barcode. The laser beam is reflected off the white spaces of the barcode and absorbed by the black bars. Photodiode detection, the barcode scanner contains a photodiode, which detects the intensity of the reflected light. When the laser beam strikes a white space, it reflects a high amount of light, whereas when it strikes a black bar, it reflects very little light. Analog signal conversion, the photodiode converts the detected light intensity into an analog electrical signal. The signal strength varies depending on whether it is reading a white space or a black bar. Analog to digital conversion, the analog electrical signal is then converted into a digital signal by an analog to digital converter, ADC. This digital signal represents the different patterns of bars and spaces in the barcode. Decoding, the digital signal is processed by the barcode scanner's decoder, which interprets the patterns and decodes the encoded information. The decoder identifies the start and stop characters, reads the data characters in between, and translates them into the corresponding alphanumeric characters. Product information retrieval, once the barcode is decoded, the scanner sends the product information to the supermarket's point of sale, POS, system. The POS system retrieves the corresponding product details, such as the product name, price, and any other relevant information stored in the supermarket's database. 12. Transaction processing The retrieved product information is used to calculate the total purchase amount, update inventory levels, and generate a receipt for the customer. In summary, a barcode scanner at a supermarket reads product information by using laser technology to scan the barcode, detecting the reflected light intensity, converting it into a digital signal, decoding the encoded information, and retrieving the corresponding product details from the POS systems database. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.